So guys, today we're going to be doing my Henry AR-7 Survival Rifle Survival Kit. Let's get started. Today we're going to be looking at my AR-7 that has been reconfigured to not only hold the AR-7 rifle, but also a few survival goodies and to help you better be prepared for a survival situation. So today we're going to be taking a look at all of The that. first thing you'll notice is the paracord and I set this over everything in here and that's because I noticed that there's actually, when you put this stock on this uh, rifle, there's actually quite a bit of space still that you could use. So that's why I put this, and this was really the only place I could fit this five feet of paracord. So the next thing and the most predominant thing, if you guys can hopefully see here, is the amount of 22 rounds I have in this setup. And that is something that I really wanted to stress because while you can fit three mags, you can put one here and one here, and you can put one in the rifle that are all fully loaded, that gives you around 24 rounds of ammo. I found out that through a little bit of modification, I actually removed all the side venting. It looked like this up here, all the way across here, but I cut all of that out and with using a Dremel I cut all of that out and made a nice groove for a lot of ammo so I'm gonna quickly dump all this out and tell you guys how much ammo is actually here special modding I was able to actually hold an additional 20 rounds here so that isn't quite a complete magazine uh, of stuff it's around two and a half magazines uh, maybe probably a little bit more than two and a half but that combined with the total of 24 rounds via the three magazines that would already be in the rifle that brings it up to 42 rounds of 22 which once again you know still isn't a gigantic amount but for a survival rifle that's actually pretty admirable now that's just what I did with my modifications you guys can see with that now cleared out you of course could put things like fishing hooks ferro rods you could do a lot of different things with that area that's just simply what I did with it wow. uh, that was a secondary modification I had to do to the rifle so stock it does not come with that channel cut out so now getting into other parts of this rifle so I'm not sure how well you guys can see some of this stuff but right next to the trigger guard there's just a little bit of slack room hopefully you guys can kind of hear and what I was able to do was take a little bit of a hacksaw blade, as you guys can see there, and I just slipped that right there. And the reason why I chose a hacksaw blade for this particular uh, project was a few reasons. One, this is going to correlate or be the striker with the ferro rod that I'm about to show you guys. And secondly, uh, the reason why I liked the hacksaw was because though it's not a lot, it is still a sharp edge and it's something, as you guys can see, you know, it will cut stuff because like I said it still is a sharp hacksaw blade though it's a smaller hacksaw blade it will still actually cut things so I wanted to choose that over another striker of a ferro rod because this one has a dual purpose in the fact that if you had to cut something though it might be very minimal uh, you can use this especially for notching a larger piece of wood to then help break it in half so that's kind of what my thoughts were behind the hacksaw blade and why I chose a hacksaw blade. So the next part is behind not this magazine, but behind this magazine right here. When I was looking at this stock, I actually found that there was a little bit of a notch, or and I hope I hope I can show it in the video better. But um, there's a little bit of a hole back in here. Maybe I can show it. Yeah, you guys can see this black part area right here. Sorry, it's not in focus, but you guys can see that black area back in there. It's a little bit hard to show on camera, but that was actually a little hole uh, just that was just out of the way. And the magazine completely passed without going into that hole. So what I did was I found that I could put a small little ferro rod just right back in that hole. And now I do want to note if you do decide to do that little mod, do keep in mind that with this orange piece and that black little hole back in there, there's a slight hole on the side of it. Um, right on this side of it this is gonna be really hard and really tricky to show but on this side where my finger is on this side here there's a hole and you'll know this when you get the stock you'll be able to see this and you just need to put some tape over that because if not your ferro rod can actually fall in and down further into the stock you guys can hear that's actually my first ferro rod 
still rattling around in there because I made a mistake the first time around and the first ferro rod actually got stuck deeper in the stock. So that sucks, but um, that is a mistake that I learned. So don't make that, but if you put a little bit of tape over that area, it works just Those fine. Those modifications, that's really all the modifications I made that I would recommend. I did also, if you guys notice, I drilled this area out and I put a few, uh, 22 rounds in there but it was just too tight and so now there's a 22 round stuck in there permanently unfortunately so I wouldn't recommend making that modification but other than that the rifle works completely you know as stock and once again, I didn't really make any modifications to anything else with this rifle so it, it's still you know same basic philosophy there's the barrel there's the action there was the two magazines and yes just some basic mat or modifications there and as you guys can see this is pretty much what it looks like now with this that little channel that i made i may revisit the survival kit and see if i want to add anything else because having the extra 20 rounds is not bad but i might go to some larger ferro rod or i might go to some better striker or whatnot um so I'll see, I'm going to play around with it a little bit more, but for now, the this US is what my 7 survival rifle, survival kit, looks like, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully this kind of gives you guys some ideas that if you do get this rifle, these are some of the uh, types of things that you could add to your rifle, and ways you could enhance your stock a little bit more to deliver a little functionality to you, and what you want to accomplish. As so anyways, guys, comment. don't like, share, subscribe, and I'm out.